Hi, Cancerians. I'm here to do your intuitive tarot reading. Um, these readings you can look at from your sun, moon, rising sign. Um, I'm getting a lot of messages for you before I even actually pull the cards. Um, you guys have been, it's almost like an OCD feeling when I was setting all this up. Um, I know messages come through when I set up. Um, it's like I couldn't get the crystals clean enough. I couldn't get the marble. Um, I'm doing you guys' reading on, on marble here in my kitchen um, that I put in earlier this year specifically for readings. I couldn't get the crystals clean enough. I couldn't get uh, the cards straight enough or cleansed enough. I couldn't get, like, it's almost like an internal, <laughs> like, um, OCD cleaning. Um, and that just tells me that you guys uh, have a lot of, like, I'm, I'm literally smudging this whole place for you. Um, you guys have a lot of energy going on in your, in yourself in your um, home that's actually sticking on. Um, that makes sense to me astrologically because the south node is in um, Scorpio. So you can get a lot of sticking energy this year. So I'm just actually, I'm gonna take the, uh, before you start your reading, I'm gonna take the, the bell and I'm actually gonna hit it with selenite. Something I usually don't do, but selenite is a good cleanser. Um, and I just want you guys to breathe in. It's going to be a horrible sound, just a heads up. Um, but I really feel like you guys need like molecular cleaning in your body just because you got a bunch of other energy that's been kind of invading your space lately. So if you guys just want to breathe in, I'm going to, um, allow the bell to ring three times. That feels a little bit better. So I hope you guys kind of did some breathe-ins. Um, so Cancerians, I love doing your reading because you guys are so, everyone thinks that the Scorpios are the, are the secretive ones. Um, but Cancerians are the ones that you actually never know what's going on with. Um, because, you know, you guys just keep it, keep it inside. Uh, Scorpios are more <laughs> um, strategically keeping it inside until they know uh, that something's a for sure thing. And Cancerians just keep it inside because I'm not really sure why. Um, their own internal feelings are their own. They don't feel the need to let it out until it kind of like pops. Let's, um, I'm using Elkie Oracle for you Cancerians. Let's see what kind of, um, Goddess energy, uh, we need to know about you right now. She who calms, Jenna, stillness, purity, and quiet. All right, and although this came out, I really think that that's what you're needing, that's what you're seeking, but that's not really what is going on. I feel like you're holding your own space um, inside of quiet, you're kind of like, um, okay, I'm, be, I'm getting being generic to everybody, just kind of like showing up to things you got to show up to, um, but not really trying to engage emotionally a lot in any other energies, and that's perfectly fine and healthy um, if you got to protect your space. Now, let's see, uh, let's see what kind of situation you you have that's making you feel like you gotta do some deep cleaning and uh, kind of get some things out of your area. What's going on for Cancerians, please? Angel Spirits, guides, please. Could you give me the message that Cancerians need most right now? Angel Spirits, guides, please for Cancer. Ooh. I feel like it's a lot of things. Positive movement forward. Okay. That's the eight on this card. Um, so I feel like 
essentially you're looking to um, purge. I'm being told you're looking to purge all the negativity, all the stuff that hasn't been yours in your area so you can actually move forward. Um, it, if I look at this, uh, it's only half a sun here. I don't know if you actually have confidence that you're going to be able to do that. And the eight is a struggle, but, um, I feel like it's most needed for you at this time. That's what spirit's trying to tell you. That's what your guides are trying to tell you that in order to have this purity and calm and kind of like a beauty within yourself, um, you're going to have to purge in order to move. Um, in a positive direction. I'm, I'm just being called to notice that the boat is going backwards. I feel like these situations that you're dealing with are situations that you've dealt with a lot in the past. Um, I feel like they're um, partnerships, um, situationships, um, just energies kind of infringing on your on your space. All right. Um, so Cancerians, I've got to do a little cleansing. I know that you guys know this. I feel like you're being stopped from going forward on that path. Um, I'm going to want to get three cards, a little bit more about this situation for the Cancerians. Could I get, um, past, current, and future for the Cancerians, please, uh, to most help them on this necessary purge to help assist them on this necessary change so they can move forward. Ooh, we got a pile there. Okay, so I'll put that in the past. I'm not sure if I'll read all of those, but anything for the current current situation, please, for Cancerians. Oh, you guys are getting... <laughs> your, well, your guides want to say a lot, even if you guys don't. Um, and future, please. Future that they can... Um, future outlook for this cleanse and purge and moving forward, please. Ooh. I'm just going to put those out how they laid, and um, I'm an intuitive reader, so I will get the messages as they come up. Um, even as I'm doing your reading, like, I really feel like having to kind of get energy off me. Um, let's look at the past position, Cancerians. We have the Seven of Swords. All right. So you guys are, uh, you guys have had attacks in the past you guys have had um just looking at this rock and the fire in the distance you guys have had a lot of shakeups. um if you look the, the the wolf is looking that way which would usually be like a very um strong creature on its own it wouldn't need all of these knives that it has um but i feel like you're carrying injuries from the past um, injuries that came up behind you, things that were done to you um, in secret, things that you didn't expect, things that's, that um, I'm, I'm having throat things right now, things that stopped you from telling uh, your story or your truth, things that wrecked your stability and foundation. So Cancerians, in the past you've had your foundation rocked. Um, you're a little timid right now to actually trust people because of this. Um, it's like you see, um, shadows. You see the, sh you're very intuitive, but I see like you see the shadows or you wonder about the shadows in people, um, which doesn't allow you to open up a lot. Um, I, I note, I did, I did burn a rose here after the sage. I cleared it out and then I burnt some rose petals. Rose is a beautiful, like allowing energy, um, uh, but it also keeps you divinely protected. So just know that, you know, if you do open up at this time, Cancerians, you've been through this injury story, you will be divinely uh, protected. I feel like this is really something that you need to look at from your past right now. Um, I know that Chiron is like heavy in the sky this week. Um, but of course, you know, whenever you're getting this reading, it's applicable to you. So past hurts are really coming up for people to look at them. Um, not everybody is the same. Even people uh, that hurt you have shift dras shifted drastically since that time. For better or worse, you would know that. Um, let's see what else we got. All right. Three of Wands. Um, three of Wands is waiting for things to change, waiting for your ships to come in. Usually waiting for your hopes and dreams. But you see she's climbing this big ladder. Um, and I feel like at some point you were able to actually dream of a future, but right now you just have been climbing for so long. 
um, that is kind of uh, hard to see. All right, and judgment. Okay, so I do feel like yeah, there's a lotus fall, flower in the sky. I'm just being noted to that. Judgment is um, getting what you've worked for, getting um, justice in situations. I do feel like in the past there was justice in situations. Um, this, I'm just being uh, noted that this person is alone. This person is looking up at the lotus, looking up at the sky, um, looking up and seeing where you've come from. Um, so I do feel you, like you guys appreciate that you're not in uh, situations that hurt you anymore. Um, that you do see that you've risen a lot out of the out of the mud, out of the out of the shit. Um, they say the the Buddhists say uh, no mud, no lotus, because it, uh, in order to bloom a lotus, um, the shell of the lotus flower has to be um, emerged in the grossest mud um, at the bottom of the pond. Uh, because once all of your structures are broken down, only then can you be yourself. So I do feel like you're seeing, you are able to be lately, um, because of your pains, more of yourself. Uh, there's a little monkey with a wand here. Um, you know, but they're not looking out at me. They're looking in at them, at, at their past. So I really feel like you guys are going, uh, because of the your past hurts, you're going through an internal processing here. Um, looking at the structures that, uh, and the fear that you have about moving ahead. I, you guys have fear because of your past hurts, um, about moving ahead. And I think that's, uh, has a lot to do with this cleansing that you just can't reach into. Um, so um, often we're all, we're in our own way. So I feel like um, Spirit just wants to say, you know, get out of your own way. Like uh, the cleansing you need is, is internal. Um, boundaries. I mean, you're, you're, you're crabs. You're able to put up boundaries. Um, yes, you do accept a lot of energy in, but I feel like you're not even like um, engaging in the manner where you want to engage. Like, uh, a nurturing man. I feel like you're not even able to nurture right now um, because you've actually built a wall that uh, blocks all energies out because the energies that have been negative have been just so at you right now. Let's look at look at your current situation. We have the two of swords, which means that you're sitting still, um, you know, unable to make decisions about things because you have so much um, kind of in your psyche. Um, but her eyes are closed purposely. She does have a, a bindi on the third eye. So maybe you are seeking um, that internal um, knowledge, but things are burning around her as well. Um, so I feel like your lack of making a decision, your lack of actually making a judgment call in certain situations is the thing that's um, kind of devouring you at this time. Um, you have, you can see these situations clearly. You have fire burning. Your stuff has been destroyed because of these energies. There's like a little whirlpool going on in the background. Um, things have been sucking your energy, Cancerians. And I just got truth chills. Um, and you have the swords in your hand to cut that out. Um, it's funny because uh, my best friend's a Cancerian. And I told her that I was going to stand by your front door with like a bat. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are going through this right now, um, but only you have the swords to cut these things out, and you know that as well. Um, oh, the fool. Okay, so, um, you know, because of all, okay, yeah, okay, this is actually a good energy to be in. Um, you're unable to make a decision right now, but you're really being pushed because of the fire underneath you to kind of break out like the fool, like stop the cycle that you've been in and kind of emerge, um, emerge anew. Um, and I don't think you know this, but people will support you in this. Uh, the, when, when one changes, it's only the people that were benefiting from you standing still that are going to be angry about it. All the people that truly love you and are truly a part of your little uh, 
Cancerian water fish tribe are going to support you in the most beautiful ways for you to be the most beautiful person and emerge with your own structure under you. A lot of rocks in this um, reading. I brought a lot of rocks to your reading. This is all about you putting up your boundaries to toxic energy and allowing um, like yourself to emerge. This is a beautiful reading temperance yeah the balancing of energies um the patience the the going inside but not in a numbing way going inside in like a self-love way if you see you know there's a little fire of uh fire of passion fire of love over the heart chakra um just you know seeing that you are valued and you're divine and you have all these arms that help all these other people but that doesn't have to invade like your space and your self um nurturing and your self revival um so i really think that you are closed off you do need these arms keeping everybody else away but when you are showing up i think even for your friends right now because you've been so drained, you're kind of like not even actually able to engage in it. Um, so there's a healthier way to do this. Let's uh, try and work through this through Cancerians. You will need a deep cleanse. Everyone that loves you is totally going to support you in that. They're probably going to assist you, in fact. Um, what you don't know is because you don't talk about your stuff so often. Um your emotional stuff so often that when you do people come running to help you <laughs> but we're just, we're just like oh my gosh the cancer needs something oh my gosh and just like floods of people show up so all right near future all right <laughs> All right, Cancerians, what you have waiting for you is an opportunity um, from the divine with the Ace of Cups to pour love onto yourself. And then, of course, like attracts light. So you will get people that also love themselves, which is going to be a lot healthier energy, a lot nurture, uh, more of a nurturing energy. Um, I believe she's pouring rice milk into... Uh, into that bowl there but either way you know it's a very gentle it's calming it's like water and it's flowing and it's something new that I don't think you've allowed yourself to experience um and hasn't been able to get into experience you all right and with the ten of wands um you know, the Ten of Wands is the Wounded Warrior, but from the Wounded Warrior, from the place of death, just like No Mud, No Lotus, we are able to, you know, say, yeah, I came from that place and here's what I'm growing from all that, <laughs> from all that shit. Um, yeah, so you have the opportunity to, you know, put up your boundaries and really grow what it's time for you guys to grow right now, um, which is, you know your own love and your own sanctity the page of swords um looking back over the past events with truth overcoming obstacles um messages coming in uh could be from past situations i'm just being called to note the the sword i feel like you guys are going to be cutting uh things off and uh, it looks like there's honey flowing down. When, as soon as you cut off the energies that you don't need as soon as you suit up a little bit and yes I'm told you will have to be, <laughs> you will have to be quite strict with this. Um, so think, think of it, Cancerians, anything that's invading your space is also invading your family space. That should help because whenever <laughs> Cancerians are all calm until you mess with their children. All right. And the three of coins. Yeah. You guys are not going to allow, um, you know, kind of the party energies in, uh, the negative energies in the people just to invade your stuff and walk all over you. Um, you're going to, um, you're going to work with yourself. I'm being told because that was in, uh, inverted. You're going to be working on your own space, on your own happiness for once on nurturing you like a baby so that you can come forward and, you know, have those, uh, entities on the outside and, and be able to slide on right by them. So that's beautiful Cancerians and I do have um, I do have a, a 
another deck here and I just pulled a four of swords. So I feel like you guys, you know, we did talk about you guys sitting still, sitting in one place, unable to move. Um, I do feel like you need rejuvenation. This whole reading is most, you know, about like clearing out, deeply clearing out, like doing a, doing just a, just a kind of Pluto, like, um, d digging crap up and just, uh, throwing it in the compost, uh, a deep cleansing that will, that's the only thing that's going to cleanse you and actually give you, um, I'm being told the relaxation you're seeking, um, the rejuvenation you're seeking. I feel like this is actually something like in your body that's affecting you deeply. Um, let's see anything else for the Cancerians here. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was the other side of the split. Um, you just feel like you've had to um, protect your territory for so long that it has been exhausting. Protect your energy for so long it's been exhausting. Um, protect what you do have for so long it's been exhausting because you have all these other invaders going on. I'm being told this one. Yeah, finding balance is going to help you guys. Um, but you can only find balance when you cut out what is not the best for you. Um, and then I just really feel like you guys are going to feel better in your body. Now, I did have a follow-up deck here. Um, I had the <laughs> had some rose quartz on it. So, uh, so I'm just going to pull something from the Prism Oracle for you guys as well today. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of decks. I feel <laughs> I should do deck reviews or something. All right. All right, and I did strangely bring, okay, this makes sense on the split. Um, I did strangely bring out uh, a, a crystal to represent um, the sacral chakra today. Um, and then you guys got success and rejection. I really feel like all this stuff, all these words, words have a fact. I tell my kids that all the time. You've heard a lot of words. You've, had, you've been in a lot of situations that have actually um, stuck to your... Um, your energy body I'm being told um so as soon as you kind of um so think about how that resonates to you think about how things are told to you you're you're the most receptive um sign of them all you absorb and then you keep in if you're not um doing something to purge all that energy is sticking with you mystery yeah I feel like you guys um I feel like you have a knowing that something is possible, totally differently possible for you, but because you've got all those stuck words and energetic um, kind of entities uh, hanging out with you, um, and I'm not talking about like weird ghosts or anything. I'm just saying like people's energy, like when you're around people in a bad mood or da da da, all that sticks to you guys. You got to decent do some deep purging um, when it comes to that, and then you're gonna be able to kind of see the steps to take right now. Um, you're being guided with the purple. You're being guided to do some healing. You're being guided to, um, you know, you do need to purge, purge the energies out that are getting in your way. But also you're, you're not being um, told you have to take every step um, for your dreams and manifestations all at once. Just one step, like one step a week if that's all you could take. Um, I think that you instantly want comfort. I think that you instantly want um, things to change, but that's not how you flow with things. Um, things have to flow with you. Uh, you got a lot of anxiety um, in your heart right now. Green's heart chakra. We got anxiety there. A lot of anxiety in your heart that's actually keeping you from going forward. I know things are hard in this word, world. I know that you worry about other people, but all that worry is um it's really weighing heavy on you guys right now um, angel spirits guides anything else for cancerians Aww. all right and uh spirit and the people around you want you to be happy they want you to know how sacred you are in their lives um and they do want you to nurture yourself now i know i i 
people just show up to Cancerians. You guys hold space for all the other signs. Um, and I know I've just shown up um, for my Cancerian friend as well, but if she told me she needed time to purge and cleanse, like I would totally hold space for that. Um, people just want you happy. People want just want you to live your best life. Like I said before, the people that don't want this happiness, the people that don't want this change in you are the people that are holding you back. <laughs> so I'm being told the bottom. Mm. Rejection. Yeah. The people that are holding you back um, don't want you to be happy because then they keep you in a spot where they can, you know, receive the comfort that they don't deserve from you. This makes so much sense. <sighs> Cancerians. Okay. Let me just see if I have any other messages for you. Anything else for the Cancerians? Anything else for the Cancerians? Um, anything else for the Cancerians? Okay, Cancerians, you actually have... Um, you actually have kind of a fresh... Uh, I'm being told fresh scent. You uh, probably are burning fresh scent things in your house right now. You actually um the outer environment reflects the inner environment so notice when you're making those little changes notice when you're making scent changes or making or you know making decor changes okay here's the secret i actually wanted to throw glitter down after i got all this set up um but i was like oh my lord if i threw glitter down i'd have to clean it all up afterwards and that would be so much because i'm doing the tourist tourist reading uh next and they don't take any bs <laughs> so um so I put a little glitter on my nails for you, but um, I feel like you kind of want to rip out of that shell and just go to something that's going to make you insanely happy. And that probably you're kind of like holding back. I'm thinking of the ramifications. You've had rejection here twice. Um, you have a... Jupiter and Aries at the top of your chart right now, astrologically, like all year. So, um, yeah, you're being encouraged to do something out of character. You're uh, being encouraged to change something um, and level up in a big, weird way. Um, I know that might not feel so comfortable for you because you like Cancerians like to protect and only come out, you know, when it's safe. You get scared a little and you go to the side, but... Um, Spirit and your guides and your ancestors and your angels are really calling you to make that big leap. And they're letting you know that you can do it like, um, you got this. So if this is resonating for you, that is your sign. Like, that's your sign. You guys have been thinking about doing something. You guys have not taken action on it yet. Um, take the action needed to purge because you have something waiting for you. Um, and, and it's pretty gorgeous. I'm actually being called, uh, to pull another Elkie. I usually go with readings until, um, until, until the messages come out. Uh, the first one you got was she who calms Jenna, stillness, purity, and quiet. So we do know that you need that purging because um, that's the only time you're able to really connect with your guidance. So, you know, you got your antennas up here. Um, once you purge everything, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting a few things with the throat chakra as well. I feel like you guys aren't saying what you need to say um, in all situations. I was going to say most situations, but I'm being told in all situations, you guys need to use your voice a little bit. Um sterner you need to um protect those things that make you most happy those things that make you most sacred not let all the riffraff in <laughs> um and however that resonates i don't know if that's in love that's in um things that you're consuming things that uh Things that you're allowing to hang on. You know, maybe you guys just need to go through your gene drawer. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure it'll resonate to you. I'm being told the top of this one, but I'm being told the uh, these two first. So let's see what's going on. 
All right, we have she who instigates, Regina, leadership, provocation, and power. Yeah, and I do feel like it's going to be strange for people um, when you do take your power back. That's what you, that's the words. I'm being shown like a star in my head. That's the words. You can't, this whole reading is about taking your power back, Cancerians. Okay, I could have just like got to it in the beginning. <laughs> that's the message for this reading. Um, and she who divines Futura, future choice and judgment. Yeah, you are calling um, judgment on all the people that have disrupted and rejected your stillness, your quiet, your serenity. Um, you guys are taking your power back. That's an amazing thing. Um, you know, Aries at the top of the chart with Jupiter, you're doing what you want, but it's in integrity. It's in integrity to bring back what is yours. All right. And let's check out the last card for this reading. She who knows, Yelena, wisdom, clarity, and resolution. All right, Cancerians, I feel like you know exactly what you need to do. Exactly the places where your power is kind of um, uh, being siphoned from you. Um, and you're being called specifically at this time to take uh, that shit back. So that is an amazing uh, reading, Cancerians. Thank you so much for allowing me to read your energy today. Um, if you would like a personal reading, uh, you can visit me at NerdistEmpath.com and set up your appointment. Otherwise, it was an honor reading for you uh, and your energy. Have a great uh, week, Cancer. Love you.